In a video I did last week, we did a walk around of the electrical system, and um, a couple of the viewers noticed and commented on the low voltage that I'd mentioned. And so I thought I'd show you, and maybe that'll be our project for today to be to work on that, try and figure out what the source of that problem is. So I've set up here to kind of do the same thing I did last week, which I've uh, taken the light bulb out of the out of the rear. This is the rear running light, and um, I've got it, got it turned on right now. And so I'm going to go ahead and measure the voltage for you here, so you can see what I mean. You see 11.29, 11.28 volts. That's um, too low. I'll uh, go over and show you what the battery voltage is, and then um, and then we'll uh, kind of go from there. Okay, we're set up in front of the battery here. So I'm just going to measure the battery voltage. Um, just the lights are still on, so I can show you. So we got 12.31 volts, and like I say, the lights are still on, and that's kind of a normal voltage for this battery. So we got uh, 12 volts uh, up here by the battery, but only 11 volts down in the back lights in the back of the car. And that's what we're going to work on next. Okay, so um, probably the first thing we should do is is see how the ground system, because this is a 50-year-old car, it's 49 and a half years old, and uh, there's quite a bit of rust, and so maybe there's something wrong with the ground. And a, a couple of uh, viewers, when they saw the electrical walk around, they mentioned or commented about it. So let's start there. Let's test the grounds and see where we are with things. So I've got my voltmeter set up for uh, resistance. It's measuring resistance. That's open when it says 0L. And then if I short it out like that, I get 0, 0.00 ohms. So that's good. That's what we would expect. Now the battery, I've disconnected the positive terminal. And I've connected the this blue wire is just a it's for me to test. If I've got two scrap for extra pieces of wire tied together so the blue wire turns into a white wire right here and let's just measure our baseline resistance from one end of my new test wire to the other about three tenths of an ohm not very much so that's good so whatever readings we get I'll subtract three tenths of an ohm from that so the plan here is now this wire here can be my sort of proxy of a wire going right to the battery terminal negative. But I, it's long enough I can go all over the vehicle and, and test various points and see, see what we get. And I'll just do a quick test right here and, and we'll see what it looks like. So I'm going to take one, one lead from my voltmeter and just hook it up to the end of my test wire. And I will just touch it to the engine ground right here. And I get the same three tenths because the only difference is this big wire right here. So um, the next place here I can look is there's a, I'll, sh I'll take the camera and show it to you in a minute, but there's a, a wire coming from the front of the firewall back to the uh, chassis and from the chassis to the engine and then the engine to the battery. And that's also three tenths of an ohm. So that's a good number. So, so far so good with the ground tests. Now I'm going to turn the camera off and we're going to move it inside the cab so we can measure around in there and see what we get. Well, before we go in the cab to do so our first set of tests, let me just show you where the major ground wires are up here. Um, the first and most important one is this wire here with the yellow stripe on it. This is connected to the chassis on the passenger side and it goes over and it's connected to the bolt that holds the starter onto the engine block. So this would take any electricity coming from the vehicle and send it back to the engine block. And then from the engine block it goes to this wire right here, back to the battery. And these are big heavy stout wires. We just measured the resistance on those and they're good to go. Okay, so next stop is inside the cab. Okay, we're inside the cab. And uh, I've got my white test wire connected to one of the leads on the voltmeter. Voltmeter set to resistance. 
And I'm going to take the uh, other test probe and just sort of try a few places in here and make sure that we've got a good ground connection from the cab back to the battery. So I'm just going to touch down here and check it out. Three tenths of an ohm, which is the, that's the resistance of my test wire, so that's good. Then I'm going to test up here, just touch right there. Go back, check the voltmeter. Three tenths of an ohm, so we're good to go here too. So we got a good connection up here in the cab from um, from the cab electricity system through the ground wire I just showed you back to the battery. Next up is the back of the vehicle. Okay, we've made our way to the back. I've got my test wire connected to one of the um, ohm meter leads. And I'm going to touch, touch it in here to the ground inside this light where we are getting low voltage and see what I get back up here. And the answer is zero, so that's good. That means that we have a good connection to ground from this light all the way back to the battery. But, so which means the grounds are good, and it's not that. So I have another idea what it could be, so that'll be my next little test. Okay, if it's not the ground, then it has to be the hot side, the 12 volt side. So we've moved inside to go test out to see if voltage looks okay at the fuse block. I've reconnected the battery, and I'm going to go ahead and test the voltage here coming. This is the voltage coming into the volt into the fuse block, 12.68. So we're good there. Got plenty of voltage here. Now I want one more test at this point here, which is the test where the well, this is the wire coming out of the fuse block, going through the fuse, and then it's going to be on its way up to the light switch after that, 12.68. So the fuse block is looking okay. It's delivering good voltage. It's delivering good voltage through the fuses and into the wires in the wiring harness. So um, really the next and last step here is to test the light switch here. It's, so I think it's got to be the light switch. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the um, instrument cluster out so I can get access behind here and we can maybe test the light switch. So that's our next stop. Okay, I've got the light switch out, the headlight switch out. It's right here. And I have uh, think I've found the problem. I've got a my uh, voltmeter probe tucked in where the power comes into the switch and you can see it's reading 12.66 which is the regular battery voltage and um, I'll try and do this without being too wiggly but I'm going to move the probe over to the output of the parking lights right there and it's set to zero volts because I have to turn the lights on. So now I'm going to turn the lights on. And see, I'm only getting 11.6 11, 11 volts. So it's about one volt down. It's the same as what we were reading in the back. It was about one volt less than we were uh, expecting. So that's our problem. It's the light switch. It's probably corrosion or dirty connections here either inside the switch or right um, right in the connector itself. So that's my next step here is I'm going to take this switch out of the vehicle and um, clean it up and see if we can make it work a little better. Well actually before we uh, take this switch out I want to do a little bit of math and in order to do a little math I want to show you something and I'm going to go ahead and turn the light switch on so the parking lights are on and I've hooked up this ammeter so that we can get a measurement of how much current the parking lights draw and it's about 4.7 amps and uh, next we're gonna go over and do a little algebra so you might be wondering I was anyway 
how much resistance would lead to a one volt drop in voltage from the battery all the way to the back of the vehicle and I've done a little bit of algebra so you could see so this is uh, the basic uh, Ohm's law where volts equals amps times resistance and we're losing a volt they only got 12 volts to work with so losing a volt matters uh, we measured our uh, current draw from when the parking lights are on and when the parking lights are on we're drawing about 5 amps out of the battery and that leaves the variable R to figure out so if you remember your algebra we can divide by 5 on the left and the right hand sides like this and that means that to lose 1 volt all we need is 2 tenths of an ohm of resistance and that's not very much it just takes a little bit of dirt to create that much resistance so let's go ahead and measure the resistance in our uh, light switch here, uh, which I've taken out. It's right, sitting right here. And uh, just see what we're dealing with. Okay, this is the light switch. I've taken it out and put it over here. I've got the voltmeter back over to uh, measuring resistance. And if I short these together, I get zero, re zero ohms for zero resistance. These center two terminals are for the parking lights. That, that's what we've been doing our experiment with. You can see right now it's open. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the lights. And you can see we're getting some resistance. It's low, only um, it's kind of hard to measure. There, it's about six or seven tenths of an ohm. Maybe four tenths, somewhere in there. Uh, lots of dirt on here, so I think that's probably our problem. So, But remember when we did our algebra that it only takes two tenths of an ohm of resistance to lose a volt in, when you're only uh, when you're drawing five amps. So that's probably our problem right there. Okay, we've done a little cleaning. I used some uh, contact cleaner to try and get inside the switch. And let's go ahead and do another test here. So I'm going to close the switch. It's off now. Okay. Turn on the parking lights. Uh, there we go. That's better. We're down to zero. So hopefully that'll fix the problem. I'm going to go ahead and clean the connectors in the... Uh, that are still in the vehicle and we'll hook it up and see if we're doing any better Okay, one more try Okay, 12.8 I've got the battery on the charger when I turn the lights on, it goes down to 12.2. Ah, that's more like it. Okay, so input. Yeah, we're in much better shape now. Yep, that's good. Okay, so the voltage is better at the light switch, so let's see if the voltage is better at the back. Well, it's a little better. It's still not good enough. 11.4, 11.4, yeah. So we still got work to do. There must be uh, more problems after the light switch on the way to the back of the vehicle. Okay, I've moved over to the um, right rear of the car. This is where the, after it goes through the light switch, the wire comes out here. And I've um, gone ahead and clipped it and stripped it so I could measure voltage back here. And you can see it's a little better, um, about 12.2. 
which is better. And so I think the problem here, I can see that this has been repaired previously and it's all pretty old and there could be quite a bit of corrosion in these crimp connectors because they're not watertight. And, and for me, I like to do these sorts of connectors uh, with watertight connections with shrink, uh, heat shrink tubing. So I'm going to probably stop here for the day and uh, pick it up tomorrow. And I will uh, go ahead and open up and, and strip back, get fresh copper. I also like to solder these connections too because once they're soldered, they won't get corroded inside. So I'll probably, um, that's probably the next uh, batch of work here will be to clip these open, strip them back to fresh copper, and then solder and heat, heat shrink them so they'll be watertight and then see if the voltage doesn't get a little better. So it's the next day. I've gone ahead and um, removed all those crimp connectors and put in uh, soldered, shrink wrapped, and uh, tidied everything up. Um, looks a lot better. I hope it's going to perform a little better. So let's go test it and see what happens. Go ahead and put you guys in the tripod here. Looks like you can see the voltmeter okay. I gotta go turn on the lights. And let's see what we got here. Oh, 12.3 volts. That's a really good number. Happy to see that. So that's about a volt better than we started out at the beginning of this little adventure. And um, that's the end of it. We've um, done our job.